Welcome to the Board Game Network. This is James here. I'm going to be teaching you how to play this game called Ascension. It's a deck building game. It plays two to four players and you've got heroes, you've got constructs, and they help you defeat monsters. Um, but there's also a solo variant and there's a team variant for four and six players. To start out the game, you start with two militia and eight apprentice. The militia are for defeating uh, monsters. The apprentice are for buying things. And so you shuffle those up. You draw five cards. You start with 30 honor per player. And these red ones are worth five each. The white ones are worth one each. So you're going to draw five cards. And at this point, I've got three that I can buy with and two that I can uh, defeat with. You've got a cultist here, you've got a, mystic, a stack of mystics and a stack of heavy infantry here on the board, uh, but there's only a single cultist. And then here's your shuffle to deck and you, roll, and you deal out six cards. Uh, if you look in the upper right, if it's a triangle, that means you can buy it. Well, with only three here, I could buy either of these two cards. And when you buy, here's my draw deck, when you buy, let's say I buy whatever I spend just goes to my discard and whatever I buy goes to my discard. I flip over another card immediately and that's even before anything happens. You flip a card over before the text on your card happens. I don't even know what this says. It says gain two power here. So I could use that uh, when I play it. This is a void hero to uh, help defeat a monster. You may banish a card in your hand or discard pile. So banishing lets you take a card out of the deck, either out of your discard or out of your hand, and it goes to the void here. And that's, that removes it from the deck, so that's a good way to remove lower cost cards uh, once you get farther into the game. Uh, and then I have two power and the cheapest monster out here is threes. However, the cultist is always available to defeat even if you don't uh, want to or can't defeat one out here. You can always defeat the cultist and you can defeat him over and over again each round uh, and multiple times in the same round. So there's two. So I'm going to defeat the cultist. The reward is to get one honor. So you take one of the white cubes. And then uh, at the end of your turn, you draw five more cards. If you have any unspent power or unspent ruins, which is what the, uh, the triangle is ruins and power is the circle. If you have any unspent, those just go away. You don't get anything out of those. And then it becomes the next player's turn. Any heroes you play during your turn, um, since I just picked me up a hero, if I, and, and once you run out of cards in your deck, you just reshuffle as you need to. So you draw to the end of the deck and then reshuffle your discard. So once you get a hero in your hand, any cards you have in your hand, you just play out. They don't, you don't have to pay any cost for them. You've already bought them. You just play them out and then you get whatever benefit there is on that. Uh, but the hero, it stays out in play until the end of your turn. So once you're discarding out of your hand, you, you're also going to discard your heroes. Constructs, however, stay in play for the rest of the game unless something gets rid of them. So if I would buy that one and put it out, it's just going to stay there. And these usually give you something every turn. Like this one gives you one power. Uh, for each Mechana construct you control, and this is a Mechana construct, it says right here. So for every one you have out, you get one power, and so that helps you defeat other monsters. And it will stay out. The Just like you defeated the cultist, or I defeated the cultist earlier, this would get flipped up as soon as I bought that. Um, and then that would also go in my discard and I'd have to play it out of my hand. Uh, mystics, 
and heavy infantry are available to purchase any time and when you purchase those they just go to your discard just like anything else and but there's a stack of them there so you can shuffle them into your deck and they can become part of your deck whereas the cultist being a monster does not get put in your deck and any of these monsters don't get put in your deck these ones when you defeat them go to the void so they don't get put into the deck and they all have rewards like this one says I gain one honor and one ruins so I would get to draw when I defeat that I would get to draw a an honor and I would have one ruins to help me purchase something else and my next card would flip up and I could use that to purchase something else so you go like this you are just reshuffling and building your deck this is a traditional deck building game just like Dominion um, you're going to go around, go around, go around, and you're going to keep doing this until all of the honor is completely gone. And then you're going to finish that round. So even if I'm the first player and the, the honor fall, uh, runs out on me, you go ahead and finish the round. Um, you are going to count the honor in the deck. If you look in the lower left-hand corner of all of these cards, these cards go in your deck and at the end of the game you're going to count those cards add them up and you're also going to count the honor cubes that you have and add those up if there's a tie for most honor then whoever went later in the round is actually the winner that's a tiebreaker so that's how you play Ascension. It's a very simple game. It's a very simple deck building game. Not much to it. All of the stuff is on the cards. The rules themselves are basic traditional deck building. So you just need to watch and it tells you most of the things tell you okay it gives you more power or it gives you more ruins and you can buy more things. Um, so that's how you play Ascension. Uh, this is put out by Stoneblade. Stoneblade, designed by Justin Gary. Make sure you tune into all of our videos here at the Board Game Network.